is Street Fighter Alpha 3. Here comes a new challenger. That's enough. I'm beautiful. This is the Alpha Lip Street Fighter Alpha 3 podcast with your hosts, Beth Quest and Lucid Fix. It's showtime. Hello and welcome to episode 12 of the Alpha Lips podcast. I'm Luke and I'm joined as always by Quest. And today we are proud to be joined by a community legend, none other than Raging Bull himself. The Bull is a regular Alpha 1, 2 and 3 player. And he's probably best known for being the organizer of the world famous Australian um, Alpha fortnightly tournaments. So without further ado, over to you Quest to kick off the interview. Thank you, Luke. Welcome to the podcast, Raging Bull. How are you today? Um, I'm very excited to be here, as always. Um, it's really, really, I'm, I'm very, I'm very genuinely pleased, basically. So yeah. <laughs> no, awesome. We're happy to have you here. Yeah. Um, let's get into it. Why, why did you choose the name Raging Bull? Is it from the movie? No, unfortunately, no, it wasn't. Um, I, <laughs> I didn't really know about the movie until I think it was like a couple of years ago. I went to a tournament and the guy was like, "Hey, you seen Raging Bull before?" I was like, "No, I haven't." <laughs> You're looking actually, at <laughs> actually, how it, how it came to be is um, it was actually a mispronunciation of um, Raging Bull. What it was meant to be was, um, you know, uh, like Raging. Uh, that's, in, that's in like a it's like it's like a Tekken rank, in um, it can actually be like a Raging Raging ranked. Yep. And um, it's pretty much just a mispronunciation of it, because like whenever I went to tournaments, I was like, "Oh, what's your name? What's your name?" I was like, "Oh, Raging Bull." Oh, is it Raging Bull? <laughs> I was like, yeah. "No, Ray no, Jin. Ray Jin. Wait, I thought it was from Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was partly from that too, but yeah, yeah okay. like from from like the yeah. I, obviously, I'm a Bulls fan as well. Like, yeah. follow the basketball a lot as well. So yeah, it was just like a combination of that and that. Mm-hmm. But in the end, it just turned out to be a mispronunciation. So. <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, I'd like to hear more about your right. tournaments, but um, first, yeah. uh, can we go back? When did you start playing fighting games? Oh man, um, I started playing when, like, all the way when I was about five or six years old. Um, I was all oh, it all started at home, basically, like just <laughs> yeah, where I live. So, uh, it's yeah, like we always it was always always between me and I had two brothers that were living at home at the, at the time. And um, the main game that we played was was Tekken. Like mm, they, were, okay. they were really pop. Like so, Tekken Three, Tag, and Tekken Four. They were the main ones we played um, over the years. Um, there was other games that were, you know, like we had intense rivalries with, you know, with um, like your Soul Calibur. Um, obviously, we got into Street Fighter as well. Um, wow. Okay. So quite a gaming um, pedigree. Yeah. Quite, you know, some. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty big um, gaming family. And yeah, um, yeah I mean. It turned out I was more into fighting games than them in the end, so I was like, oh well. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's yeah, it, it all started at home. So. So did you have the upper hand over your brothers? Were you kind of the dominant force? Oh no, no, no. They were they were at a stage where they like they understand the game a bit more than I did. I was yeah, like, okay. I was just more learning off them, just feeding off them at this at that time. So um, it was it was a good stepping stone, that's for sure. So. Uh, just to be in the fighting games now, so yeah, yeah. Yep. What was your first uh, Street Fighter game? First Street Fighter game, it actually was um, indeed Alpha Three. Um, oh, wow. I started from there. Um, it turned out we just we rented it out on when Video Easy Video Easy used to be a thing. Oh, like, Video uh, Easy. <laughs> yeah. For yeah, uh, international uh, listeners, that's like a famous um, <laughs> video renting kind of it was like the, the closest competition to blockbuster yeah that's yeah. It, that's it. yeah and uh yeah we started there so like oh we rented out it's like oh um we weren't really wrapped into it like at the at first um i thought like the same Ryu do like fireballs like when i was at a young age i was like oh that's that's so awesome to do that in a fighting game like uh, yeah. obviously you don't see it in tekken yeah. um until tekken 7 of course uh, <laughs> yep. But um, yeah, I was like, okay. I might as well get get the game and um, like from there, it's just yeah. Like I I hadn't really touched it until like it got to around like ten, yeah, ten maybe twelve years ago. Like I was like, oh, this is actually a good game. Like it's you know do some combos and that. So mm. um, yeah. Nice. So you mentioned tournaments. Mm-hmm. What kind of tournaments did you enter and 
what age were you when you started showing? Oh, uh, all of that. I don't. I don't really start like when I um was getting into uh, the fighting games. I really didn't start until like I didn't really start seeing it until 2012. Um, I, I, saw, I was my first ever like I saw it on YouTube. I was like, oh, what's this video? Yeah. Like, these these couple of people playing Street Fighter. What what's going on here? <laughs> I, I, so I had a yeah. look and it was the Evo final with um Infiltration and mm. uh, Game of Day, and it was, a, yeah. it was an awesome final. And that ultimately what got me into fighting games and um and going from like um Newcastle bred as well, Newcastle born. Mm. Yeah. Um, didn't really start to look around for tournaments because i was still in high school at that stage so um i was just yeah like it was not until like the release of street fighter 5 that i saw an actual newcastle scene and mm. uh oh, so there is there is a, i was gonna ask that is there a you know do you know of other players in newcastle um specifically oh like the, for alpha 3 or just street fighter oh just street fighter in general just street fighter yeah there's there's actually um uh, about i'd say about about six Around yeah, six yeah. players that, yep. that, that play Street Fighter in um in Newcastle. Um yeah, I didn't really see it until I released a Street Fighter Five and mm. um I saw a venue there, I was like, Oh, I might as well just have a look, see see what the get oh, the competition's like and um yeah. uh Street Fighter Five, very strong. Um okay. yep. uh, other other retro games, uh, like your yeah, Super Turbos, Alpha Three, not so much, but you know, <laughs> that's yeah, that's okay. Newcastle. <laughs> yep. 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 So how did you go in um, these tournaments? Did you enter any? Oh yeah, I did. Um, in Street Fighter, like I didn't like I didn't really go well because um, there's a lot of people that just had a lot more experience than I did. Yep. Um, when I got to Tekken, though, I, like because I played a lot more of that with my brothers, yeah. uh, I just like I started to pick up my character and so forth. So um, I started to be a little bit dominant in that scene. Um, not right now. Like I'm probably like third, maybe fourth in the okay. <laughs> in the Newcastle scene now. But that's, um, that's still pretty good. No, yeah. Nothing yeah. Um, but yeah, like like um, my first major was in um, it was in it was, it was in Melbourne of all places. Um, uh, for BAM nine, and that was my first exposure to you know the big stage. So. Mm -hmm. Um, what did you find? Was there a big difference in the level of play between the Newcastle locals and you know going out to Bam? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a huge step up. There's probably about oh, probably another four or five stages of like just levels mm. of getting good, basically. Like you could just like you just you could just see like when you play players like um I mean, I like when I first got there to Bam I was like. I obviously, uh, I didn't go any well in Street Fighter. Tekken, I can't remember my results, to be honest, because that I didn't even come out at that stage. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just saw the players, and they were, like, you could just see they, they had, they just put hundreds of hours into their gameplay. It was just, it was, it was a great thing to watch, and mm. I did get to see, um, I did, I did get to play some famous players, like, yeah, like your Dargos and your, um. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's was, awesome. I did, I did, like not in not in not in tournament, but in casuals. But oh, um, yeah, I've seen Street Fighter Five, and oh, oh, he's just relentless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's he's pretty strong. What yeah, was what, was play, what was playing? What was playing like? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was it was great. Um, oh, like it was just like was, I think the tournament just finished. He was getting they were getting in the top eight. He was just sitting there casually, and everyone was just lining up. They're like, oh, this is gonna be awesome. Yeah. And um, yeah, like yeah, heavy games I have. I think I had about. About five to eight games, and nice. yeah. I didn't get a single round. So, oh, yeah. I mean, that's a given. <laughs> I mean, that's normal. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Evan Noble Garza versus uh, Infiltration and Shannon. Wow. So. Yeah, nice. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. So they, they all come out to BAM. Is that a regular thing, or is that just? Yeah, it's a it's a yearly tournament that um I believe Catch Warriors um hosts. Yep. Every, every no, but year. I mean like the the Sorry. like strong Asian players coming out to BAM. Is that do they often do that? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. I'm not sure when it started, but um, obviously when I when I was there, that they're all, they're always there, so it's good to see it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Well, for the listeners, we have an upcoming episode with the the lead organizer of Ben. He will actually be on this podcast, so it'll oh, wow. be interesting to get him to elaborate on that. Oh, right, awesome, awesome. Yeah, that's in your to me as well. Yeah, going back to <laughs> Alpha Three. In your opinion, what do you like in Alpha Three that you don't find in other Street Fighter games? Uh, so with Alpha Three, like I've I've played every other 
um, ones, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Uh, played these Super Turbos, your third strikes, your yeah. Street Fighter fours and fives. What I find in um, Alpha Three is um, like, in terms of like for each in, like individual character, they have so many options of how you want to play it compared to the rest of the Street Fighters. So, like, you know how like in and you're not in your vanilla Alpha Three, you have 28 characters, mm-hmm. and obviously you have the three isms. I just find like, um, like in terms of the options for the character, mm. like he, obviously you got the um, the Xism, the Aism, and the Bism. So it caters mm. for like all your like obviously Xism for your Super Turbo and uh, your, your Alpha One, Alpha Two players. Yeah. That want yeah. to go Aism and that, um, and obviously that B Bism for people that did <laughs> Alpha Two combos. So I just yeah. find that like. Like for each character, there's about nine different ways you can play it. Mm. So you can like you can you can, okay you can pick Aism, but you can, do you want to play offensive? Do you want to play defensive? Do you want to play orthodox? Do you want to just play just a neutral game? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just find that to be what's so unique about Alpha Three. Um, obviously, as well as all their other mechanisms like your yeah, obviously Bisms and mm. and I just find it so interesting. Like just they just put like that is experimented so much about it. It's just I yeah, just, yeah. Like in my opinion, I thought it flourished um, against the rest. To be honest, so. yeah, yep. that's interesting. Definitely a kitchen sink approach. Like there's every single possible mechanic is in there. Yeah, that's it. Somewhere. Yep. What are your early memories of joining the Alpha Three Oz community? And do you remember how you actually found out about it? Oh right, yeah, it was interesting that because um, with the yeah, I, I think it just turned out... Like, I was in the fighting game community and, like, there's a Facebook page. And um, I saw this post um, from from the doctor himself, Dr. Allo. Mm, yep. And it's like, oh, you know, is anyone into Alpha 3? And I just just hit the like button. It's like, yeah, that's that's an awesome game. I, like, I wouldn't mind playing that, you know, just mm. casually. And, yep. and it all just went to, you know, since he found me liking it, I just went, oh... Oh, do you, do you want to play some games like on Fightcade? I was like, oh yeah, that'll be awesome. Like, <laughs> I haven't versed anyone in Alpha Three in so long. Hopefully, it's, it's my brothers. So yeah, uh, okay. Uh, so I was like, yeah, like you know what? I'll give it a go. And um, and then from there, it just went to, yeah, you know, I could just join the Discord. You know, mm-hmm. all these other people play Alpha as well. And then yeah, obviously in the eventuality of the um the Alpha Discord, which um I'm very proud to be in and. It's yeah. It's all right. You're a moderator, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. he has. To, he probably has to say that. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was like, did you say you were proud? Like, yeah, I did, man. I made, I made sure I said it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I mean it absolutely because it's yeah. uh, like I just I'm just very surprised of like how much people like not only me are passionate about Alpha as well. So I'm yeah. I'm just very happy to be a part of it. So did Ellie come to you and say like um. You know, I've seen how passionate you are. I've seen all the the effort you put in. Would you like to be a, a moderator? Uh, yeah, he he did pretty much pretty much exactly like that. Yeah, yeah. I just went like because he obviously saw me do the tournaments and that. He's like, you know, you know, do you want to be a part of you know the team? I was like, oh, absolutely. Like, you know, it's, you're hired. You know, like to be honest, it's still his show. I was like, you know, if you want me to do anything yeah. else, just let me know because it's yeah, anything that builds this community is uh, is is always a positive for me. Yeah. yeah, it's his show, but we're the main stars. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's so it. how did you get into running tournaments? So obviously, as I said in the intro, like most people probably know you in the Alpha community for, you know, being the organizer of all our tournaments. Like yeah. where, where did that start for you? Um, like I saw um, there was a lot of, like obviously I've been in like your local tournaments in, in mm-hmm. the Newcastle scene. And there was also a, um, there was another there's other online tournaments I saw as well, I was, and I thought, you know, I was just I just thought on the Discord like, why don't we have a weekly sort of thing? Yeah. And um, and obviously, as you might know, Doctor was a little bit against it because with the with the tournament play and mm. you know, whether that will affect casuals a lot. Mm. And um, yeah. he was, was worried just, that the competitive environment would affect the the friendliness of the environment. Yeah, I mean, it is a bit like that, like like who's the best and sort of thing. But where do you weigh in on that? What do you mean? Like, do you do you think that has any weight to it to say that if there's um, tournaments that it's going to negatively affect 
the friendliness of the it does the to, it does to an extent but i just find it like as a, a motivation it's more of a motivation to actually play the game than it is yeah. to yep. think of how you went in the tournament um sure i mean okay there's some times where i go oh and two but it doesn't really matter you know as long as i have fun doing it it yeah. doesn't matter how my results are Yep. Have you had so, any ex- experience running? Oh, sorry, were you saying something else? Oh no, it's okay. You go ahead. Okay. Have you had any experience running like tournaments before this one? I have actually. Um, I was in the Newcastle scene. Um, mm-hmm. I started running Tekken, Street Fighter Five, um, and also <laughs> I used to I used to do a um, what's called a, a mystery game tournament in Newcastle, and pretty much what mystery it was. Game. Mystery okay. games, yeah. So I just happen to have a collection of oh, a lot of fighting games I have in my in the past, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, um, this was actually running in between uh, a Smash scene as well. So I was mm-hmm. like, to get more people in because it's really Smash is really huge in Newcastle right now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like we get heaps of comp- like heaps of participants. So I was like, you know what, on the side we could just just run just a fun game like i remember we just run like uh like mortal kombat one or yeah yeah or um art of fighting um yeah yeah, yeah so pretty much like the, the way there's I so choose. many out there like in the early the days after street fighter 2 every game company was like trying to cash in yeah that's it that's it and i was like you know surely these games have some sort of fun in it you know let's, let's you know let's steal a little bit into it and you know go from there so yeah i did that for about a good month or two and yeah it was, it was a lot of fun yeah um tournament attendance has gone down did you expect the turnout you have gotten though overall from entry at the start i was really surprised of how many there was like we started to get mm-hmm. about I don't know, 12 all the way up to 19 um i just thought you know this is awesome like yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I just didn't believe it at first um fluctuations with tournaments now i mean i know like with all the the covid um situation happening now like like people might be less motivated to play more alpha which i i truly understand um maybe but but what like they might also be motivated to play more because they're not um not going anywhere yeah yeah exactly exactly i'm i mean i'm not sure as to why that is but you know Yeah, yeah um so what? Sorry, what was the what was the original question again? About the turnouts, like were you um, surprised by it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was. Yeah, always like anything that's like from, I know from ten up. I was like, wow, this is, this is really good. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah definitely. I'm really excited about those tournaments. Yeah, I mean, what did you think when we had that eighteen person tournament? Oh, <laughs> it was crazy. I was like. <laughs> First of all, I was like, oh, how am I going to even start this? Like, you yeah. know, yeah. there's so many, like, I just, you saw a fight, Katie, and you're like, oh, my God, there's so many Australian flags. So, like, how am I going to, yeah. like, first of all, is everyone going to turn up? Um, and then second, like, okay, I'm going to yeah. start from the first match and go from there. Yeah, start, <laughs> start of match one. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Uh, recently, you ran a Swiss-style tournament. How, hmm. did, how did that go compared to the double elimination, in your opinion? Uh, I, th- I mean... Um, I tip my hat to Luke Fitz there with that oh, yeah. whole idea as well, because that was all his idea. Um, I thought that went brilliant, brilliantly. Like, like I was skeptical at first because I was just never seen that sort of style incorporated in a fighting game. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I was a bit skeptical at first, and then after I ran it, I just thought, you know, this was really great for for casuals. Um, like, just just a really great environment to have instead of like a double limb like just like at least change the style of a tournament um or just change uh what do you call it like the culture like so like the Mm. culture of the tournament rather rather than like okay he beat all these characters he beat all these players you know he's he should be number one whereas okay everyone's gonna have a everyone's gonna play four or five matches and (laughs) It doesn't really matter who comes first. I mean, if everyone wins, someone wins they, all their games, uh, good on to them. But it's I, I find that really um, exciting, the Swiss style now. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, it matters. Like, you know, those are the tournaments that I happen to win. So, it matters. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Usually. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. <laughs> the ones you had a hand in were the ones you managed to win. Yeah, that's it. Is there controversial strategy? <laughs> you just die, <laughs> Yeah. What, right. what was the, um, like, can you control the, you know, so, you know, in the last, the two tournaments that I won were both through very um, convoluted tiebreaker kind of mechanics at the end. Do you, do you have control over that in challenge or how does that work? In he just decides who wins? Um, I mean, so, the, yeah, like with like ties for round robins or Swiss yeah. style as well. Um, like it took me, like with those ties, I was like, okay, how does challenge decide? Yeah. Okay, that's how they do it. Okay, that's that sounds a bit fair. Um, I mean, I can actually just jump in and go. Okay, it's if the if it's an equal tie, we can just play a grand final and go yeah. from there. Okay. Um, I haven't got to that situation, thank goodness. But yeah. um, yeah, yeah, I think challenge is really reliable in terms of that. So um, mm-hmm. that's that's off to them too. Yep. On the topic of um tournament rules, mm-hmm. yep. as the default rule, you have banned infinites. Why did you choose to ban it? Why? Um, first of all, <laughs> I didn't really discover Infinites until... Uh, when was it? I think I saw a video, I think probably a year before this whole Discord happened. And I was like, okay, that's that's a bit broken. And um, when I started to run tournaments, um, like, I, I had chat to the, had to chat to guys, I was like, is there any rules that I'm not aware of? And um, obviously, Doctor went in to say, you know, if you want to ban infinites, you know, they'll they'll make things great. Um, why we banned it? Because that's a it's a very um, open-ended question. Because obviously, in Japan, they don't ban infinites there. Um, but the or reason, anywhere really, like yeah, exactly, yeah, or anywhere in the world, it's it's really exclusive to just Australia. Mm. Um, the main reason why we thought it was like a ban-worthy thing is. You get to a point in tournaments where um, there's only going to be about like six, maybe eight characters and mm-hmm. and isms as well um, that that are viable for Alpha Three. Mm. So in terms of that, um, banning it will actually allow a lot more. They can still do V isms and everything else. But it'll allow a lot more variation of of characters and and play styles as well. Uh, that was pretty much the main driver as to why we did that. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you determine in tournament if an infinite has taken place? Like if someone mm, just crap yeah. cancels and they hit them once after, yep. or maybe yep. they hit them three times and then they drop the infinite. I mean, how do you determine it? Well, what yeah. um what was pointed out to me was that no no combo is truly an infinite because. You know, a match is finite. It's bounded by the timer and health. Well, yeah, like... if you're gonna nitpick, but the you know, we know what infinites mean. Under under yeah, that yeah. under that logic, yeah, you know, yeah. How do you actually determine? Yeah, yeah. You usually, so I had a good thing about this. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, he and... did because I told him beforehand I was gonna. Ask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a tough question, which is it's like thank goodness I haven't had to enforce it earlier because like. Mm. Uh, thanks to the community as well. I mean, that's that's you know good on them, but um, I really had a uh, good rule set in mind. When mm. you get to about five hits into your crouch cancels. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's where you think, okay, you know, he's done five frame perfect crouch cancels. You know, that's that's so not that, that, so five. It's not just mashing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, obviously it's not mashing. Yeah, you can't you can't really land five. Okay, hits. so after that five has taken place, what is the penalty for it? So from there, it's a one round penalty. Yep. Mm. So player who does it takes the um the other the opponent takes the round yep. and in the next round um it has to be done during that round taken um the the guy who done the crouch cancels has to deplete his bar yep. and then oh. and then the next round starts uh, because he could have built meter yeah while um, crouch canceling yeah, yeah interesting yeah so yeah i just thought yeah one round penalty yeah and then, obviously that had needs to be depleted for the next round as well so um and obviously if you can if he continues to do that um that will upgrade to a game mm. and then obviously upgrade to a set if he does it the third time uh, yeah wow okay the, the community is very split on the rule 
Yep. I know a lot of zero division guys are critical of it as well. Mm. Um, are you open to allowing it in the future as a default rule, or are, are you set on keeping if and it's banned except for the special tournament? Mm. Great question. Um, I mean, at this stage, that's that's our rules for now. Yep. Uh, mm. okay. If everyone's if everyone really is happy with what if if infinites is if, if everyone's happy with infinites, then you know, well, obviously we have to talk to moderators, you know, <laughs> like to see what we where we go and where we direct from there. Um, it's hard to say in the future, but at this stage, you know, keeping it as it is, you know, just to just to keep the obviously the casuals in as well. So mm. okay, fair yep, fair enough. You play. Okay, so I have, I have a more. I have another question about the tournaments. For some okay. reason, you seem to be the one of the main players that beats me every single time we play in tournament. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think you've definitely beaten me at Alpha Three at least three or four times. Okay. I I don't know. I may have beaten you once with my Sakura or something like that, but definitely never with Blanca. What what what's your secret? I don't understand why in the <laughs> tournament you always beat me. I'm not too sure of myself. Um, you know, you got you got a very strong B Sakura. Um, I do admit, like, um, no, there's think, something. Are you? Do you hold? Do you um? Do you tank in casuals and um, bring no. out your, your strongest play in tournament? <laughs> no, it actually like it's not only Alpha Three. It's it's really interesting. Like, I mean, not for other fighting games, but for some reason, like in basketball, I do the same thing. Like, I will just you know, like just play casually. Okay, that's okay. Want to get into a game? You know, that's yep. where I that's where I really step up. Yeah, wow. Um, Alpha three, it's um yeah, I'm not too sure. Like like I do the same things. It's just I don't know, like something. I I think it might be just it could be just a case of just just bad luck, or just could be just like a um where everything just falls in place, or I just time it differently because of the tournament yeah. pressure. Yeah, so um, everything speeds up a little bit. And yeah, exactly. Or better. or maybe my reactions just accelerate a bit more because you know there's yeah. a bit of weight involved in the. Yeah. In the game or in the set itself. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've been unlucky against me in tournaments. Oh, like Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the other, on the other um, set, of, on the other side. Yeah. Of the yeah. But well, I've been unlucky uh, against Luke as well. So. Yeah. Like, so we've got to definitely have a scissors paper rock type yeah, thing that's happen. It. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. Um, you play upper and max. Yes. Which characters do you use in it, and how do they compare to your main in vanilla V Ryu? Uh, yeah. So in um upper, I do play um. Evil Ryu, I, oh, I do, yeah. I do um, find him to be a, um, a stronger character than Ryu, despite he's um, less health and he's less, um, I think he has less guard gate as well. Um, so it's find, not like a Kuma, is he, or what? what's the difference there? The main, main difference is um, with uh, Ryu, I play V Ryu as well, so mm. I don't use any of the supers, unfortunately. Yep. Um, no Raging Demons. No, no rating demons, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like he's actually got an extra option for getting out of the corner, which is the teleport. Mm, okay. So obviously there's two different ways to do the teleport. You can actually do the punch variation or the kick variation. So um, it just gives you an extra option in terms of getting out of that corner and you know getting back in the middle. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I find that stronger. Uh, so that's that's Matt. That's um upper three upper. Hey Max, uh, I've been really, I've been playing that a lot recently. I've been really into uh, V Ingrid. Mm, wow. And that's uh, on the PSP, right, Max? That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So I find her to be better than both of those characters, in my opinion. Oh, it works better really? for me wow. anyway. Yeah. Uh, very, very strong neutral. Uh, mm. Like. And obviously, V combos are just ridiculous. Like, it's... what kind of archetype is Ingrid? I don't know. I've never like played Max or seen her play. Like, what? Who would you compare it to? Oh man, uh, you would compare it to, I'd say like a, I'd probably say like a stronger Karen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like where she has like a a lot of the. Oh yeah, she's got a parry as well. Um, yeah. Like, okay. like Karen as well. Mm -hmm. um, she's yeah. I just find her to be like a lot stronger neutral wise. The mm. fireball isn't that good, but I mean it's it doesn't go far. It's probably goes as far as dance to be honest. Yeah, okay. Um But it's better than no fireball. Yeah. yeah, that's it, that's it. And uh yeah, she's just yeah, just just solid neutrally and um once you get once you've 
once you get someone in the corner, um, all that, all those, um, those heavy punches, jumping heavy punches, like mm. they're really strong um, tools to keep them in the corner. There's, there's not a lot of options when when you get uh, an opponent with a e. Ingrid in the corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there was a meet in Sydney planned, but cancelled due to Corona. How far away was the meet when it was cancelled? Oh, in the Sydney. Yeah, the Sydney one, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the um, it was out in the West. Rumble in the West. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, oh, how far was that away? I think we were about two, maybe three weeks away before they cancelled yeah. it. Yeah. And yeah, oh, it was just it was very devastating because you know I got I had so much set up like I had a had a little setup just to bring over as well. I was thinking of combination. Um, it was so close. Oh, really? to what out. was the setup like? What what platform did you have for Alpha Three? So yeah, so we actually ran Alpha uh, Alpha Three Alpha tournaments. Uh, we had um, the actual owner or the actual tournament organizer. You know, you know a lot of guys that like we're into the arcade scene. Mm. Um, we actually found a Naomi Alpha 3 upper uh, board. Oh, so, no way. I didn't was, know this was, exists. I didn't know there was an arcade release. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there actually was like that, yeah, uh, through the Naomi hardware. Oh, and wow. um, so actually, for some reason, somebody actually found it. I was like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Like, <laughs> if you can, yeah. uh, that would be absolutely pr- privilege if that, if you can get, get, get that happening. So that was bound to happen. Yeah. And obviously, um, I was, I, was, I was actually slated to do other games as well. Like, yeah, it was like actually Mortal Kombat 2, um, yeah. Tech Tag Tournament as well. I know Super Turbo was scheduled for oh, like yeah, Super Turbo. 9 a.m. or something. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, yeah, Super Turbo was on as well. And and um, we actually created backstops. So if there's any problems with that, with the arcade, we actually like had the. Um, console ports just in case for backup yeah, nice, yeah so um yeah like everything was going well and yeah obviously corona happened and yeah just yeah, <laughs> just thrown yeah, out sure. lanes but just a bit of a bummer because that would have been the first alpha 3 encounter for new south wales in a very long time yeah how many Maybe how many people like were you 90s. expecting to like participate in this oh that's a great question um i wasn't too sure because like i only met like I wasn't the house sure, like, as I think that one was a lot like pinball driven. Like, there's a lot of, there's a big pinball community of it. Oh, really? Uh, I was thinking more of probably about, I don't know, maybe eight, ten, maybe ten. That's being very optimistic to me. Yep. Uh, anything more would be an absolute godsend. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, uh, like, anything like that, yeah, I'd, I'd say eight to ten, to be honest. Yeah. Nice, nice. Is there any plans to organize the meet again in a post corona world? Uh yes yeah I've been um yeah I've been I've been in talks with um other Sydney venues to see you know if we can actually get the ball rolling with Alpha Three um yeah I, I'm still working on it myself like it's for me it's a three hour travel so yeah I was gonna say it's a long um, um it's a long long trip to do every week if it's some weekly kind of thing yeah or even just fortnightly you know just yeah very taxing so yeah. um. Yep. Yeah, I mean, from 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 where it, where I'm located, it's it's pretty tough, but um, you know, it's yeah, I'm more than happy to you know participate or go if you know, like um, mm-hmm. if it's if it's on, like I'll I'll, I'll do my best to be there, you know. It yep. definitely seems to be a smaller scene than in Melbourne. Like um, mm. I'm, I'm trying to think. I know Mike, so I, I'm obviously from Sydney. I think Mike Dyson is, and do you know mm-hmm. many other of the of the players in the scene who are also from Sydney? <laughs> Uh, not myself, unfortunately. Um, no, yeah. there's not a lot in Newcastle. Yeah. Um, like I think there's only one, one, uh, one or two other people that play Alpha Three, um, yeah. or have played it. But um, yeah, in Sydney, I haven't met other players. Like obviously, like I've delved a lot into the like Super Turbo communities and Third mm-hmm. Strikes, and um, <laughs> obviously they stick to their games, which is. I mean, yeah. if that's what they enjoy, you know, that's fine. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, no one's really <laughs> as passionate or yeah. like as interested for me for Alpha, so like that's understandable. Yeah, yeah. Well, so if that like probably to- means we're like the state. We're probably like the state top three. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if uh, Mike Dyson turned up, would you even know that he turned up? Like that's the that's the uh, question. <laughs> I don't know what name he'll be on though. So <laughs> maybe he'll be like wearing a mask or something. So we can't. Yeah. <laughs> 
he probably cosplayed, you know, you know, could yeah. be a different guy. <laughs> yeah, for those uh, listening who are unfamiliar with Mike Dyson, he like <laughs> when he enters tournaments, Super Turbo Alpha Three. Each time he has like a different name. Like yeah. he had Crouch Cancer was like his name for the Infinite yeah. Tournament, which I thought was pretty funny. Yeah, he's, he's a cool. funny man. He's a good. He's a strong player as well for sure. Yeah, true. Absolutely. And you can't lab him. You can't figure out what he's gonna he's gonna do because he <laughs> plays all these different characters. He has all yeah. these different names. You never know when you're playing against him. I often play yeah. against just random people on Fightcade and ask them like, "Oh, are you Mike Dyson?" They're like, "No, why would you? Why would you say that?" <laughs> I don't know who that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had a similar experience. I'm like, I know it's new Mike Dyson. I'm like, no, it's not me. It's just I'm this other person. I'm like, ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, where do you weigh in on the upper versus vanilla debate? So you touched on it before, saying that it was going to be an upper tournament. Are you gonna? Would you alternate between upper and vanilla, or would the meet, the offline meet, always be uh, upper? Um, like I'll be more than happy to do upper myself. I mean, that, that's that's like, it's a game where it's like not a lot of people has actually experimented on. Um, in terms of vanilla or upper, I mean, if people still want to play vanilla, you know, I'm more than happy to do run any like vanilla as well. You know, it's pretty much whatever they if they want to run vanilla all the time. You know, that's fine. Um. It's pretty much up to the community to see like, what they want to do. Like, if they want to run up, that's fine. If they want to run vanilla, you know, I'm just more than happy to represent mm-hmm. Alpha Three in any way. So, in that in that response, like, any anything go any way goes basically mm-hmm. for me. I think. Did you see that announcement that Fight K Two is um, you know, maybe not confirmed, but strong rumors that it will support Naomi games. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I saw that. Which would yeah, be amazing. So, CBS two, Marvel yeah. two, and, um, and also, upper. And upper three upper, yeah. Um, that'll be very exciting. Like once I get that updated, like I'll yeah, I'll, just, I'll do everything in my in my in my powers yeah. to actually get it going. Yeah, that's gonna be huge. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. What inspired you to start the Alpha one and Alpha two tournaments like on the off um on the off weeks? Uh, I just thought like uh. Obviously, I had nothing else to do on Sundays. So I was like, yeah, you know, no. um, I was like, you know, give, just give the other Alpha game some love as well, you know, mm. Alpha One, Alpha Two. Um, I'm I'm just starting to do a rotation of that now. Mm. Um, like people still enjoy it. Like it's it's a they're all great fun Alpha games. Like any any of them, yeah. to be honest. Like um, I know I know yourself, Luke. You yeah, you played the last Alpha One tournament. You you're just so in, involved with the cigar, so yeah, it was uh, fun. It was the really prestigious uh, three-person tournament. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> hey, we had, I had fun. That's all I matters. I played Dan. I was the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, how, how do you even pick Dan? How do I pick Dan? Oh, right. So no, pretty much, you like game tips with Raging Bull. Yeah, game tips. <laughs> Anyone wants to pick Dan and be like a low-tier god like me? Yep. <laughs> Please don't. Um, press start. You, you press and hold start mm-hmm. on the um. You press and hold start, and then you yep. get to random select, and then yep. you go low punch, low kick, medium kick, heavy kick, <laughs> heavy punch, medium medium punch, and then Dan will be selected. That's a lot, that's yeah. a lot more complicated than I thought. Yeah, yeah it reminds right. me of those like GTA days where you, you enter the <laughs> team. Like, did you guys ever do that? Like, yeah, what was like, on PC? Yeah. Yeah, like summon the tank or whatever, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> bring it on. <laughs> yep. yeah. uh, no, I, don't, to... I don't get the hate for Alpha One. Everyone, everyone, I do. I what, think it's, what, I think it's just a crappy version of Alpha Two, in my opinion. So. Yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah. I quite like it. I like the gameplay. It looks like a bad game, but why would you play it over Alpha Two? That's what I don't understand. Yeah, it's, play so it's more simplicity. It's, clo- it's almost clo- it feels like Super Turbo with just different graphics and music and characters. Mm, yeah. Well, in my opinion, it's like it's it's a lot less characters towards Alpha Two, so that's probably why it's not much love. Yeah. Yeah. Alpha Two and Alpha Threes. You went to Melbourne for the A3 or the Alpha 3 Casuals. How was yes. that experience? Oh, that was awesome. That was a, that was great. Um, I enjoyed every moment of it. Like, <laughs> even, like from the start where we just went to the wrong library at the first. <laughs> um, I was like, oh, we actually don't. We don't. We don't but you're not booked here. You know, you're here. It's like, oh, okay. We'll just travel over there. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Who was it, that? It was... Did you just show up by yourself, or were you with another um, player at the time? Oh no, like um, I got in touch with Doctor Allo, um, oh, okay, yeah. and you know we try to try to see him first, and then obviously just congregate all on on one area. Yeah. Um, got to the wrong library first. I was like, oh damn, all right, got to catch a tram. Uh, two minutes over into the other library. Like, this is where we should be. Yeah. And um, 
yeah, started setting up and um, yeah, saw all, all the Melbourne players like uh, Yeet, 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 um, yeah, yeah. obviously yourself, Quest, yeah. uh, Dr. Aller, of course, uh, Toxie, and um, and Wu Thang as well. Um, if I got to anyone, I'm very sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, nice. uh, but yeah, it was it was a really great experience. Um, uh, yeah, I, I like when we because I was planning down to just go on holidays for Melbourne. I was thought, you know, I was very surprised how other, how many other players like were passionate about it because obviously you didn't see it in New South Wales. I was like, oh yeah. wow, this, this is this is amazing. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was it was just it was just a great all-around experience for me. Yeah, it was pretty. How awesome. was it? How was it playing people in person versus online? Did you notice any like main differences there? I noticed uh, I was reacting a lot. I was reacting to things a lot quicker, like yeah. especially jump-ins. Like that's such a main, like online strategy. Like yeah. everyone can just jump in a lot for free online mm-hmm. rather than offlines. Um, I found that a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and obviously like just playing first to person again. I haven't done that in ages myself, so yeah. Um, it was just great to see all the different styles as well so like just to see it in person how they do their like little techniques the little v's and combos like it's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> amazing thing to watch if you haven't seen it before <laughs> yeah yeah do you have a, a favorite player to verse oh favorite player oh that's great that's a great question um i believe um people i learned a lot from so um there's three if that's a if it's a yeah, yeah, sure. okay they have three Right. So obviously Quest, um, yeah. yourself, you do obviously you teach me a lot about the like how to like that that matchup specifically and, and neutral. Mm. Um, George Jan George Jani, he oh, does yeah. a lot of um like mind games and tactics. Or, wake up, he's the master of wake up games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wake up, think, type in the chat to annoy you. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've actually banned. I've got a, I've got a good tech against George Jani now that I just ban him from typing. If he types, I just quit. <laughs> so I just say like, if you want to play, you can't. You're not allowed to type. So yeah, it's very so effective. It actually, it's it it definitely turns the match in my favor. That actually gives me a, a question here. How would you actually ban like? Well, what's your rules on trash talking during the games in the offline matches? If you were to run tournaments. Mm, trash talking off like off offline or online? Sorry. Off offline. So you had a player next to him and they were just talking crap to them. Like, is there a kind of a rule there or? I mean, if he gets like really up his face, I'll just obviously <laughs> just, just just pull the chair back just that little bit so he doesn't get close to him. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, if it gets really violent, I mean, he does obviously he's not there to play alpha; he's just there just to, yeah. just to teammate others. So obviously that's not on real life stream. Yeah, but like, yeah, would you would you bring masking tape if like Georgiani shows up? Maybe we could. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean. It's it's a valid option, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. So who's your third person? Sorry, we we cut you off there. Oh, yep. that's right. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So um, yeah, Quest, obviously you. Um, Georgiani. Georgia. Last person was Le- November Golf. Yeah. Uh, um, not only he's obviously one of the best players in, in Australia, <laughs> but like he just has so much um character variety. Mm. So I just play him, and I just get to know like a lot of matchups because he plays a lot of characters, which is really good. Yeah. You know, I love playing against Nevin Golf. He's he's such a um, he's a very pure player. Like he always does just kind of the right thing at the right time, and like he's strong in all aspects. Mm. It's hard to say it in online, <laughs> but it's very in- instinct play gameplay for him. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, I'd just say he's well rounded. That's my perception. Yeah, the goal. he doesn't rely on a few kind of gimmicks to yeah. to win. He he's very um, he knows the game well. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, and I'm he's gonna... probably listening right now because he's an avid <laughs> listener of the podcast. So. Yeah. Shout out to as am I. As am I. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He'll tell us what a great job you guys did. These are all the things I loved about it. You know, yeah. From the start, he's always been a, a big, big supporter of the podcast. I think that's one of the good things about our community is our stronger players. There's no elitism there. They're willing to say, like, I actually enjoyed playing against you or listening to your podcast. And mm-hmm. I think that's really good to have the stronger players um, you know, show some leadership like that. Yeah. Well, there is positive. some strong players who won't even come on the podcast. Yeah. So, yeah. I, mean, we won't well, I don't know. We had we had James Chen on. And he was pretty strong. Yeah. No, yeah. no I'm, I'm <laughs> about, I've got a few Australian players in mind. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. That's all right. We'll see. We'll see. We'll you see. Know. Yeah. It's, we'll it's see. early days. We'll see. Check yeah. out the next podcast where Luke names him and he'll he'll go yeah. on his rant about him. But... Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
I might have a question for both of you. Uh, the question is, team tournaments. If you were to run them or see them run, how? what would the rules be? How would you decide the teams and, and all that? Okay. Um, for got... team tournaments, I was think, thinking of that because obviously, obviously you get a lot of ideas when this coronavirus happens. Mm. Um, I, don't, I, was, I was, first of all, like in terms of picking teams at the start, I was thinking, you know, what about, you know, Victoria versus the rest mm. of the world? State of origin. Yeah, or yeah, basically like that, you know, Victoria versus New South Wales, or you yeah. Know, you said there was a Queensland can team up. We'll, we'll take November goal. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and Georgiani, you get involved. Is um, he from Queensland? Yeah, that that actually be quite good. November golf, Georgiani, you and me against Victoria. I can, I can see be, that happening. That'd be really close. Yeah. yeah. Um, in terms of the format, I was thinking more of um. You can't really just do it on a first of ones with Alpha 3, in my in my opinion. I mean, you can with um, other games, like your Tekkens, because they do, they do five rounds. Yeah. Um, but in Alpha 3, I reckon it's more of a first of two. Yeah. Um, it'll so still, be, still be a good format to do. You mean first of two, like each player has to be eliminated twice or something? Or like the best of three? Oh, no, no, no first of two, two I think two games in a set. So, like, like you've run it like, um, like Pokemon, basically, with, you know... Yeah. Um, yeah, each, each person picks person to verse each other. Um, they play the set first of two. Whoever gets eliminated, you know, switch out the next Pokemon yep. and go from there. Mm-hmm. And you go through it twice. Is that what you? Oh no, what just you... once. No, just no, just once. once. Uh, okay, okay. Just, just one and done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you want to see the big, the big crew battles, basically? Yeah, I mean that'd be awesome to have. Like, yep. um, like I, I found in um, like in YouTube videos, you know, team team tournaments. Yeah, like, like basketball, like it's it's really um, like it's it's a lot. You just yeah, you know, like it's a better competitive environment because you have not only the people that want you to lose, but you also have people that yeah, want, want you to win. win. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you, obviously, you don't get that a lot in individual sports. Yeah, you, know, you yeah. Know, always have to be yourself and be the best you can be. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was I was joking with golf that we could do a crew battle where golf and Ella are like the team captains and they. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah they they advice. School yard picks. Yeah, yeah. They got to get, orders, um, like... they gotta get like an even, um, even selection of different characters and um, different <laughs> strengths and stuff. Like, oh, I need a, I need a shooting guard. I need a two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, go with. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have a counter for this matchup. We need to yeah, do a exactly. Charlie, you know. Need a grapple. Yeah, I need a Charlie. <laughs> I need a Charlie. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be awesome. We need a Rolento. There's a Dalson in there. Gotta, gotta <laughs> is that really? Is that a counter for Dalson? Yeah, apparently. Um, yeah, Valento is, is one of the better characters against Dalson. Oh, really? Who, where do you hear that? That's pretty interesting. Just zero division people. I hang out there too much. You know, they're, yeah. They're a bad influence on me. But yeah, yeah that's what, what they said. Yeah. The general consensus was, yeah, Valento, um is the best character to verse him with. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. That's it. Um, did you have anything more to, to ask or add, Luke? Well, I, we, in terms of the team tournament, the other way that would be cool, I reckon, is just doubles. Just... um. You and a partner versus another team, and like yeah. it could be done almost by seedings. Like if we had yeah. the ratings or something, it could be like top seed goes in a team with bottom seed, and then like all the two people in the middle are a team or something like that. Yeah. Pretty yeah. interesting. Yeah, that, I mean, that, I mean, I'm open for any options. Yeah, um, yeah I, know, I got more ideas for tournaments. We we could do a random random select tournament. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've, more, done uh, that, I've done that before for um for Tekken oh, yeah. uh, in our local scene. Yeah. Um. Unfortunately, sometimes random selects, you know, the, it's, it's a roulette game, basically. It's like, oh, can you yeah. get the main character? Um, it's, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's a, it's really, a roulette unless you're, like, Dr. Elo or somebody. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, I don't care. I'll, well, I'm going to anyway. <laughs> what I'd like to see, though, is, like, a maybe a random uh, select of, like, players on the team. So you don't know who you're going to be teamed with. Mm. Yeah, yeah, if, if you're going to mix things up with the roulette idea, then I would prefer to see, the, see it done that way. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, the match I just... that I want to see is if, if it's just a like a money match, like two people playing each other would be, you have to play every single character. Both both people have to play every single character, and it's still every single character is eliminated for one person. No, oh, well, it's, very few people would you know be good for that sort of thing. I reckon. Yeah. Maybe well, uh, we got we have to start a rivalry between Doctor Elo and Golf. Like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, those know, who, are the who, two I want to see. Who's the better host on the on their rival show or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> Winner gets to keep the show, and the other one has to retire from making shows. Yeah. <laughs> Permanently, they must retire. 
Or that, or one gets like more air time than the other. <laughs> yeah, one, one becomes the host and the other is the co-host. Yeah, because yeah. they, yeah, they will call it the Doctor Elo show featuring November Gold, or the yeah, November yeah. Gold show featuring Doctor Elo. <laughs> and every yeah. first turn they do, they like, they like, they yeah. switch between obviously because they win against yeah. each other. So <laughs> yeah, maybe, we should do, maybe we should do that in the quest. Yeah, maybe. Well, not like that. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, like, I, like, I like playing my like few characters and getting good. I don't like playing like my twentieth best character or how many characters in the, in the upper and max and what. Or maybe yeah. like a king of a hill, so like like they get their own show and like like you get one combatant that wins the tournament. You know, maybe but... if you win, you get the your own segment in the show. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this is quest segment because he kicked Luke's ass and you know he, he can have <laughs> something like that. I'm yet to say that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I might, I might get Raging Bull to fill in for me because he keeps beating <laughs> you all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're oh, yeah, you're definitely a quest, character okay. loyalist, Raging Bull. You, I've only ever seen you play Ryu and maybe Akuma. And yeah. Gen, actually, you play Gen a little bit. Yep. Anybody else that we don't know about? Oh, right, okay. I did that to research on. Um, well, you used to play Boxer. You did Yeah, a little bit of Dalsim, yeah. Uh, Boxer. Yeah. Uh, okay. A little bit of Juni that no one else plays. Which yeah. is understandable. Um, who else? Junior, yeah, interesting character. Like, there's a lot of characters I can play, but obviously not yeah. my best ability. Um, like your, like A Rose. And, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, there's not many after yep. that guy Jer K left. <laughs> Jerk, I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah. There's not, hasn't been many um Rose plays around. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I think I, I think he's still on, but that's okay. Um, but we haven't seen him play Alpha in, in some time. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you want to look at a good Rose, check out Rugal. He's a good player. Rugal. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's okay. a good um where's he from? I think he's America or Canada, one of those. Yeah, okay, yeah, I've seen him in Fire Cat, I think. Yeah, he's a he's a very strong Rose player. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, is there any like uh new tournament ideas that we could be seeing come up in the future? Um Obviously, like the ones we just brainstormed, then with the doubles yeah. and triples, yeah. all the crews and that. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm more than happy to run something like that. Yeah. Um, what else? Well, we're thinking, having the Aism, Aism, and Xism only, right? Yeah. I was thinking of Xism only because obviously a lot of our three, three players they have either you know yeah. played Super Turbo, so mm. I was thinking of that a few times. Mm. Um, yeah. Or a classic tournament where they don't have the. Yeah, like uh, no Dungeon, block screen. Yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll be interesting. Uh, that's gonna be hard to set up though, to be honest. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like, don't even oh, know how to get it. Everyone's gotta press this before you press start. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, at, at at this moment, other than those um, suggestions, uh, not at the moment. Um, okay. I was maybe thinking of well, what about a maybe a dramatic battle tournament. Ooh, how does that work? Oh, it's, it's more like a high score thing, like during the thing, like so, you, like everyone, like they, you can actually um set up in Fight Arcade where you can um, like obviously you press restart before mm-hmm. you verse it, and I think you have to press a certain combination so you can get dramatic battle, so two players can verse all the characters. So it's pretty much whoever gets a high score. Really? Uh, is that it, is that in the arcade game? You got, oh, you can do it on Fight Arcade. Yeah, yeah, you can do it on Fight Arcade. Really? I've, done, I've, oh, done it before. I've never even seen that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you can do that. So you're saying that you can both be on a team at the same time and then have separate scores. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. Well, was... In the in the version that's on Fike, I've, I've never seen that before. That's awesome. Oh, like I, I mean, I know I know people have tried it and have done it. Um, yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah. myself, I, unfortunately, I haven't tried it, but you know, you yeah. can you can actually do it in in Fike, so that's wow. no problem. Wow, that's interesting. Yep. Raging yeah. Bull tutorials for you. <laughs> yeah, more tips, man. I'm learning, um, learning all kinds of things today. I hope you're enjoying this bonus segment. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bonus rounds. <laughs> yeah, bonus rounds. Yeah. Well, um, I'll have to, I'll have to follow that. Up. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I think you also do reverse dramatic battle, but I mean that's only one person anyway, so that's no fun. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> reverse dramatic battle. Yeah, like where you have to verse two people. Um, you can't do that on Fightcade though, I don't believe. I think you can do it on Upper, but you can't do it on Fightcade. Uh, I'm pretty sure about that. Maybe when Fightcade two, yeah. Fightcade two, yeah, lands, it could be Fightcade support. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so keen for CVS two. That'll be awesome. I've heard so much about that game, but never got a chance to play it. Yeah, 
Yeah, CVS two. I mean, that'd be great. Um, I, I always, I'm I'm pretty big fan of CVS one as well, to be honest. Um, okay. Yeah. I want a few of that as well. Like, yeah. it's always like a cool visual game, in my opinion, just like Apple three. So. <laughs> the Marvel vs. Capcom two. As yeah, well. that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm salivating. Just yeah, of... we we're starving for it. We need it. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, yeah. Um, do you have any more to add, Luke? Or no, that's else? that's about it for me. All right. Well, thanks for coming on, Raging Bull. Oh, thank you very much for having me. It's, it's been a, been a great pleasure. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. mate. Thanks, mate.